Good morning, YouTube. It's the 20th of October, and it's 8 o'clock in the morning, and it didn't get up to 90 yesterday. It was only 89 in Lemon Grove, San Diego, California. If you're concerned about me getting up and down off the roof, this side of the ladder is 3 feet, this side is 5 feet. I had this special made, and the rungs are seven inches apart. They're not like this ladder. So, getting up and down was the only thing I had problems with about 30 years ago. 35 years ago? So I had a special ladder made. It wasn't cheap, but boy, is it worth it. I, no point do I have to bend. Look, the artichokes are still growing. I haven't killed them. The heat hasn't killed them. Moved them to the shade. Okay, aphis update. Look at the aphids fall off. They're all dead. Nothing's crawling. When I water, I'll shoot the hose on them so to, it will knock the dead things off and turn into fertilizer. Let's see, how are we doing over here? Are you dead? Are you moving? No, they're dead. Three days, so this is fourth day on the banana peelings. They are all dead. So if you have aphids, no matter what color, put fresh banana peels around. The only thing I can figure out is the fumes kill them. Because they don't even have to touch the aphids. They just have to be in the same proximity. They only have to be in the same proximity. Whatever that word is. And my pansies are still going strong. Catnip needs another haircut before the weather cools down so I can get that dried. Strawberries are very, very happy. They haven't realized that it's fall. They will turn brown and red and go dormant if it cools off enough. And back there are onions that I grew from the very bottom inch of green onions. I cut them off at about an inch and usually this is longer. I clean up. There's usually more white but the greens I clean up and then dehydrate. And these I will either use right away or chop them up and freeze them for later. And I tried to get seeds from them this year. They bloomed. There was not one seed. In fact, I thought those were all dead. Oh, my little tiny Brussels sprout. Out of that whole package of old, old seeds, I got one Brussels sprout. Those have been planted. Didn't realize how dry this was, so I watered it yesterday. It's dry again today. Need to put more water on. I did collect some seeds. Could this... Oh, look, 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 we have aphids. I'll wait until I get a little bit more, then I will do the banana peeling. That's just in case some praying mantis is still around. No, no lavender seeds came up. That's a problem with living someplace where it's decent for a couple of days, and then it gets super, super hot and dries up all your little seedlings. Burns them up. Uh... I don't know if that one dragon fruit is going to make it or not. Looks kind of rotten. Nope. That one's not going to make it. Ah, oh, you're starting to, leaves are starting to turn. It must be fall in California. The fruit tree leaves are starting to turn. She wants to go dormant, then she'll go to her new home. My friend wants to experiment on it. And, ah, uh, two days in a row, I do not see the praying mantis, <gasps> because she's over here now. Look at you fat thing. 
when you're going to start laying eggs, huh? Don't see any eggs there, because this is where they usually lay them. I'll put in a picture of the other fence by the fig tree. There are. Okay, Paula. Okay. There are seven praying mantis egg casings on the six foot section of fencing. They've been here for a couple of years, so I don't think they're viable. And look what I found again. Well, Paula, here's number five. I will go and jar it up for you. I don't know anybody else that wants to raise tomato worms. Well, she wants to raise them to feed her chickens. And I have decided not to eat the beans as green beans, or yellow beans and purple beans. I'm going to save the seeds and cook them as dry beans. Save some for planting and cook the rest in soups and stuff. But they got all the way up to the top fairly fast. Oh darn, I made tacos yesterday and I didn't know I had a tomato. Here is lettuce plants that I picked up at the 99 cent store when I picked up the two pineapples and a package of green onions. The very green part of the onions I've dried. The other white part I have cut up and put in the freezer for later use. But I'm really surprised that these made it because they were in such a tight little bitty clump. I was ripping them apart. I will come out and cut off the outer leaves for salads. Once they get going, it's romaine. Here's the volunteer squash. I finally have a squash behind it. Oh, I have a meal. I'm going to go have sex. Man, I haven't had that in years. Let's see. Is there enough pollen there? Oh, yes, we got a good amount of pollen. Let's try for some more. This one. Come on, focus. There's a pollen. This may not well it hasn't turned black. I've no I know that when they turn black that they've been pollinated. And since I'm not worried about it cross-pollinating, I just want it to pollinate. I don't care that I tore the flower off. Okay, we'll see if that takes. Uh, Brussels sprout, since I cut the center out, it's doing something weird. I hope you decide to bunch up and not, nah, it looks like you're just gonna blow out. Oh well, chicken feed. Everything's chicken feed. It's gonna be a busy morning. I get to pollinate my squash, collect some more horny worms. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And if you haven't done so, just poke the little red bar. Bye for now.